Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about a brand new Samsung Galaxy smartphone that is about to come out very soon that is going to blow your mind. Now, the reason it's going to blow your mind is twofold. Number one, it's going to have incredible specs, and number two, the price is going to be around $600. Now, the phone I'm talking about is the successor to this phone, the Samsung Galaxy S. 20 FE, uh, which is one of Samsung's most successful phones from 2020. They sold a lot of these phones. Now what they're doing is they're about to release the S21 FE. Not sure about the exact release date, but we do have some leaks from own leaks who gives us some specs and also the design of the S21 FE. Now, if you were to go out there and try to buy a Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, it's going to cost you $1,200 to start. But with the S21 FE, you are going to get the same power, many equivalent specs, but the price is going to be around six to $700. So let's dive in and look at the renders and look at some of the expected specs from these latest leaks from own leak. So real quick guys, I know we love the internet, but everything that you're doing online is basically being tracked by everyone, including your service provider. Now with NordVPN, your location and your connection can be completely hidden and secured under a military grade encryption. So you can surf the internet without a trace, no matter where you are, whether that's your home or in a public location. So if you do care about your privacy and your security, grab NordVPN. It's so secure, it even allows you to trick the system by making it look like you're surfing the web from another country while you could be sitting in the United States, so you become untraceable and hack proof. Now, if you go to nordvpn.com slash Tech, what you're getting is 70% off, plus you get one month free, and you get a free gift on top of that in the form of extra service time. And remember, there's nothing to lose because you also get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so make sure you use the link down below, nordvpn.com slash Tech, which is also linked down below. It is time to become untraceable. All right, so according to all leaks, the S21 FE almost looks like an exact copy of the Samsung Galaxy S21 with minor variations in design from the rear. It is gonna have a glastic rear panel. Glastic means a mix of glass and plastic, just like the S21. And he does say that the phone is gonna be slightly larger and by being slightly larger, it is also going to have a slightly larger 6.2 inch display. And of course, it's going to have a full high definition plus display, 120 hertz, and a single hole cutout in the, in the top, in the center, just like its predecessor, just like the S21. And the rear cameras are going to be inherited from the Samsung Galaxy S21 that we have. So S21 FE is going to have the same cameras as the S21, which are in fact great cameras. Now, OnLeaks does mention in his post here that the cameras might get a slight downgrade because you're also getting a big uh, cut in the actual price. Remember, this phone is gonna be around $600, maybe even $500. We'll see the exact pricing and the release date soon with more leaks, but there's gonna be some minor downgrades to make that price sensible. But when it comes to the processor, it's gonna be the same powerful processor. It's going to have tons of RAM, 120 hertz display refresh rate. Now the phone is not going to have a headphone jack in case anybody's wondering. Uh, if you look at the renders at the bottom next to the USB type C port, there is no uh, headphone jack whatsoever. We have a speaker. Uh, it's going to be dual speakers by the way. So one speaker on the top, one speaker on the bottom, USB type C port no headphone jack, and I really doubt that it's gonna have a micro SD expansion. If it does, that's great. Now, Samsung is doing that on their mid-range smartphones. Uh, the Samsung Galaxy A52, A72, they have the micro SD expansion. They also have the headphone jack, but looks like when you move up to the flagship category, uh, they are doing away with, with those things to make room, I'm assuming, uh, for the latest technology. And of course, the S21 FE falls, interestingly enough, somewhere in the middle of a top-range flagship and a top-range uh, top range mid-ranger. So S21 FE is going to be somewhere there. 
leaning towards the uh, flagship category. And that's why it's going to be a great deal. And for now, it seems that's all the information that we have. As we get more updates, I'll let you guys know what's going on with this phone. But it certainly is an amazing phone. If there's anybody in the market thinking about buying the Samsung Galaxy S21, I would say just wait a couple more months, wait for the S21 FE uh, to get released. And I think you are going to love the package. Uh, again, this guy right here, the S20 FE, uh, honestly, if I was an S20 Ultra owner and somebody just gave this to me to use it, I could probably just live with it, no problem. Like I said, many flagship features with minimum compromises. And the best thing is low price tag, which is what the consumers need. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below, let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button, and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.